Hey guys, it's Liv. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So today I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys how I create my YouTube thumbnails. I've gotten a couple requests to do this video so I thought why not? Um, if you guys are new here, definitely make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest videos and let's just get into it. I actually create a lot of my YouTube thumbnails using my iPhone. Um, I find that this is one of the best ways to do it and many YouTube viewers nowadays are actually viewing from their iPhone, not their desktop laptop. So you really want to make sure that your thumbnails are appealing to iPhone viewers because that's where the majority of people are watching from nowadays. So there are a couple of different apps that I like to use so I'll run through that and then if you guys have any questions definitely let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So first things first, a YouTube thumbnail is the dimensions of a video which is 16 by 9. Generally speaking I don't really take, video take pictures for the thumbnails. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but most times I don't. So I like to make a collage and I like using the app called Over to create my collage. So basically what I'll do is I'll go into the app and then choose the dimension 16 by 9 and then I'll pick transparent background or white background and then I'll add my different photos to make a collage that will be the right dimensions. So when I'm in Lightroom I don't really do too many edits. Normally I'll just add a preset or adjust the lighting just to make the picture look a little bit more appealing. And then if I'm feeling like it, I'll go into Visco and add another filter if the picture like really needs it, but that's not always a necessary step. Then the next app that I use is Pixar, and I use this app for if I'm drawing an outline around myself. Um, that's really the only purpose I use this app for, so basically what I do is I go under the Draw section, and then I get the regular circle marker um, and then I put it at around like a 10 point and then I just draw a line around myself and this really helps your image like stick out from the thumbnail and make it more visible so I think it's a nice fun added touch definitely not necessary but if you're looking to like add a little pizzazz it's a good option and then the final app that I use is Fonto and I use Fonto to add my text to the thumbnail so what I like to do I usually use Helvetica new um, bold in italic or regular and then I like to basically make the font as large as possible without it looking too crazy so that it's really um, visible to the viewers who may be seeing it on their phone if it's like this tiny you really want to make sure that your image you're using is very clear and obvious to what it is because people look at all the thumbnails like this so you want it to be very obvious is what you're trying to convey so I like to make my picture um, as large as possible and um, the text as large as possible so people can see what you're doing. Another way to make your text really stand out is to add a stroke around your text. So I normally like to use white text with a black stroke or black shadow. This really helps the text like pop out from the screen um, and gives a little bit added dimension. So that's how I use Fonto to add my text. So definitely play around in Fonto with what font you like to use and text. Um, I suggest using um, the same or similar fonts on all your videos. That way your viewers and subscribers can recognize your videos and like in their head be like, oh yeah, that's like Liv's video. She has like a certain color scheme that she uses, a certain font. Um, and the app you can also um, curve the text to make it like, like that instead of a straight line, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, and as far as text goes, I would suggest using a sans serif font. So that's the things without serif. Serifs are like little things that curl under. Sans serif is like a more simple and easier font to read. So that's my suggestions on fonts. So those are basically all the apps I use over Lightroom. Pixar and Fonto. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to subscribe down below to stay up to date on all my latest videos, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys!